let's do something fun today. I just came out of the Goodwill. I'm sitting here in the parking lot and I just wanted to show you what I got. So we'll call this a Goodwill haul and it's just some fun household stuff for the price of one dress and not that much of a dress. I did get a dress, a belt, and several things for the house. So let me just show you and then I'll show you where I put them in our cabin. I think I'm kind of optimistic thinking I'm gonna find a place for all these things but that is the fun of it okay let's start with the things that I got for the wall I got and these might be kind of big for the car but I got this board it looks like somebody has hand routed it and made it from a board that they a scrap and it says prayer changes things it could very well be store-bought I don't know I like homemade things and this has a homemade flair to it and I love it and it's pretty big it's about two and a half feet long so the same size of thing and I'm pretty sure this one is homemade and they did it with crackle paint it says courage is fear that has said its prayers and I feel like that's a good message for myself and for everybody else that Courage doesn't mean that we haven't been afraid or that we don't have fear. It's just that we are trusting in God and he gives us courage. So, and the Bible says, be strong and have a good courage. So that's a message and I don't know where I'm going to put that sign yet. I just, I love it. Okay. And if you haven't noticed, I like little signs that are inspirational and I don't even care if they're things of the past, whatever. They're, they're good for me. Okay, so this one is from the Bible, Be Still and Know That I Am God, and that one, I have several of these type of signs that, these are not homemade or anything, but I really still like them, and this one, just because of life, looks like it has been a little bit distressed. So these signs are like between $3 and $5, actually they're all $3 a piece, so that I figure is a, a good deal. I spent, I think, a grand total of $4 for this one. Nope, $6. Okay, so this is a very heavy wrought iron sign that says welcome, and it's a scroll design, and it'll look pretty good in our cabin. Welcoming you to our Ridge Haven homestead, and I kind of debated about it, but I'm like, you know what? It's pretty. It'll go really well. So that's that. I got a funny little thing, a strange little thing, but I really kind of like it. This is a birch bark vase, vase type thing. And it's not, you can't put water in it except for these two little places that have those skinny vases and they come out so you can clean them. So that will hold like one, one sprig of flowers or something. But I want to do a natural arrangement to put on our mantle. What I had in mind today was our fireplace mantle because it is so dark. Everything around the fireplace is so dark. Um, dark tile, dark wood stove, dark mantle, and I'm like, man, we can't even see over there. So I went with a mission of finding some lighter things to put on there, and I still have to get several, but I'm working my way through that. Another thing that I got for the mantle was, and it's not, it's only has a little bit of light stuff to it, but I may even add a little bit more chippy white paint to this. We'll see. This might, it might just be fine like it is. It's just a candle holder that is kind of funky and I really kind of like it. It's kind of heavy duty. It's, I don't think it's old or anything. It's just something that I liked. Okay, to go on our mantle is this thing I'm gonna jig this garland that has some stars on it and some little I forgot what those little things are called but I really like them it gives a nice country look it's not that big and there was another one in there that was even smaller it was all pale um, cream but I feel like this is a splurge for five dollars although when I go to the Yoder store they're like 20 bucks and this size may not be all that huge, but that's okay. It'll go at least on one side of mine. And that just gives a little bit of color and, but it still, it brings in the red, but it still has some light to it. Um, okay, I think that's all the things that I got for the home, except for, 
I don't know, I'm getting into these funny jars. So this is a big jar, and I don't think it's quite half of a gallon, but it is, it's Presto Supreme Mason jar. And I looked it up on Google, and if you can trust Google, which who knows if we can, it says it's vintage, I don't know. It does, I did try, it does take a, um, a mason, a regular mason jar lid, and I just noticed it has a little chip. This isn't the kind of jar you're going to can in anyway, it's just way too big. But this will be just fine either on my mason jar shelf or as a big flower vase or something to hold stuff in. And I do have a lid that will go on it, so I thought it was kind of cool. And it's two bucks, so I didn't lose too much on that one. I got a funky little crocheted belt which is stretchy and I like it a lot for 99 cents and then I got a pretty tropical red dress which maybe I'll put on for the rest of this video and show you what it looks like. I liked it. It had kind of a ruffle at the bottom. It looks very Hawaiian-ish and um, what was I going to say about this dress? Oh, Goodwill doesn't have a dressing room, so you can't try them on, so I had to try it on over my clothes and look in the mirror. And I'm hoping that it's going to fit, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. It did okay over my shirt, and that's okay. So, I feel like I got a pretty good haul, and now I am eager to see where I put them in the cabin. Because I kind of have places in mind, but you never know until you get in the cabin and check it out. Okay. Next part of this video will be in the cabin and we'll see where we put these things. Goodbye to the Goodwill. Let's see what we can do with this stuff. I'm just kind of starting with the mantle. and see what I can do with that, play around. All I wanna do is try to brighten it up a little bit. And almost everything in here is still going to be kind of temporary because we don't have all the windows framed and we have plans for parts of the walls but in the meantime I think some of these things will really work. So I have these candle things. I have this one and I have this one that I got at Ollie's which I plan to whitewash this one because I wanted the whole purpose was to see how we could lighten it up. So this one will be okay and Whitewashed. I got this garland. Now these have stars, you probably can't really tell. They have little metal stars on them. They're just kind of cute. So let's see, this will only go on one part of the mantle. That helps a smidgen, but honestly, it doesn't help a whole lot, so I'm gonna have to do some rethinking again. We're gonna try this, and maybe a complete disaster, if it, if it is, <laughs> I guess I'll sand it off. But I just have some off-white paint that I had watered down a lot when I did our whitewashing downstairs, and I've had it all this time. And so I just want to lighten this up because it's too dark for our mantle. So I'm going to try it with the paintbrush at first. Let's see what it looks like. Now or never. I'm just doing a wash on it. And usually when you wash something, it dries lighter. I mean like, you know, more transparent than when it goes on. So once it dries, I'll be able to tell. This wood may be sealed, but it doesn't really feel like it's been sealed. It feels kind of like it's not, but it's sort of acting like it's been sealed. I'm just gonna cover it and I'm gonna wipe it off. And then I may do another coat on it. We shall see. wiping this off. I don't want it to be drippy. That's my main concern. 
This was like a dark brown. It almost looks kind of black, but it is more brown. Okay, I debated whether I was gonna do this one as well. It's a little bit more scary because it has the glass piece to it. And because it's already distressed. However, it's still pretty dark and I paid $5 for it and I looked it up. It's not any like masterpiece of art. It's, you can find like one or two for under $30, usually like two for 40 or whatever. So, okay, I'm just gonna lighten it up a little bit as well. I'm gonna go easy on it and just kind of dry brush it if I can, just to kind of get the, the brown toned down a little bit. And it may not even stick because I am not going to go and um, sand the gloss off of this. I just want it slightly less brown. And one thing I'm not as an artist, <laughs> so I may regret it, that's okay. If I regret both of these pieces, it's like 10 bucks down the, down the drain, but that's, I think it'll still be usable. Okay, so here is, it just lightened it a smidgen and it's a little bit runny. So, I think this will be something that we do kind of in layers because I have a feeling that once it dries, it'll be more, more transparent even than it is now. <laughs> you never know till you try, do you? That's why I like thrift store shopping because you can kind of play around with things and yeah, you're not losing that much. And I will tell you, I didn't really show my guys any of these pieces, just not because I was keeping it from them, but it's just because it was bedtime when we all got here. So it's, I'm, it's not gonna be like, oh, you can't do that with that piece. And I don't really think they would care anyway. So this is just giving a nice wash. In fact, you can still see the brown through it, which is just fine. That's kind of what I want. Just a little bit lighter. Here we go. So now we have two pieces and they still, the colors still don't match, which is fine. They don't have to. If I need to do another coat, I will. What do you think? Did I just ruin them? <laughs> okay. It's good and dry, but it's so transparent that it gave it like a hazy gray look. And this one does have a hint of it, but it really dried pretty transparent. So I am just going to cut to the chase and go over it with some chalk paint. This is called Plaster. I guess I've never even opened this. This is from Waverly. It's a chalk paint and I'm gonna put it on sort of thin. I'm just barely putting any on the brush. At least that's my goal. And I'm going to sort of do a dry brush technique because I don't want it super, super covered and looks like that's what I'm getting anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna unload that brush a little bit more and just kind of a little bit lighter here. Here so far is the mantle behind me. It's still pretty dark. The candles need a little bit of attention and we're gonna look at those now. I'm going to move this to the side for a few minutes and we will work on these candles. So right now, all I'm gonna do with the candles is give them a light sanding and see if we can, I wanted them light, but they're super light. Anyway, can't be happy, can I? <laughs> Let's just see what we can do to get it like I want them to be. Okay. 
All right, you may think I'm crazy because I brought it home, I painted it, and then I sanded half of it off, but I really am actually more happy with it, with how it is now. It looks kind of not like brand new and freshly painted, which I didn't really want it to look brand new and freshly painted. That was just a little too stark. And then this one, it's more, it's more covered than it was when I originally got it, but you can still see a little bit of that brown poking through. And so that is what I wanted for our mantle. And so let's put the candles back in. I had thought about using some of this antiquing glaze on this, but I was honestly afraid that because of the chalk paint, it would absorb it too much because chalk paint is really quite porous. Anyway, I actually like them. And then there's one more that doesn't match either of these back at the store, which I may go pick up and put there and also paint, but let's see how these look. Here it is, what do you think? Did that improve it at all? Or did I just ruin that whole <laughs> picture frame? It definitely stands out more and that chimney is kind of in the way. I like that birch bark vase with the flowers. It feels like it needs a little something more on the bottom to still lighten it up. I'm feeling like a crocheted runner along the bottom might be the trick, but this is a vast improvement from what it was because we couldn't see the things there at all. And so little by little, we're gonna get it done. Yeah, we still have these windows to trim out and then we will do curtains and we're probably gonna do like a red gingham buffalo check curtain on here, brighten it up. This is one thing I got at the thrift store and it's hanging over the window for temporarily. And the other one that I got, I put over the sofa with this little basket and it looks crooked, but I didn't think it was crooked. A little bit crooked. Okay, prayer changes things. I had this over this other window initially. It seemed too high and it was almost disappeared with the red. This wall, we actually are planning to possibly mount a TV onto. And so in the meantime, since we don't have a TV now, <laughs> we're gonna, I'll put this here because this is where we have worship. And this is a good reminder that prayer does change things. And another thrift shop acquired item is this one I really like, May This Home be firmly built upon faith, held together, or held humbly together by hope, and ever lit by the light of God's love. That was already distressed. It went really well with this other red stuff. Anyway, it's just little by little. It's just one thing after another. It's coming together. Now about that red dress. When I got the dress, it was a size slightly bigger than what I wear, and the straps were a little bit too droopy, so it hung down too low in the front. It wasn't that noticeable when I first put it on, but it did need to be altered. So I had to unhook the straps and it looked like somebody had already taken them in. It looked like they had been elasticized straps that had probably been stretched out by the previous owner. So I ripped the seams out and then I took them in about three or four inches and sewed them up again. And that was really all it took to make the dress fit. Okay, here's how that dress turned out. It's kind of cute and it has big wide straps, which I tightened up so that it fits better. And it's not too flowy, but it's cute. Yeah, I do like the dress. It is kind of cute. It's kind of hard to tell with my video skills, but let me show you that mantle and how it turned out behind me. So the chimney pipe is always gonna be something we work around and I still haven't found a lace thing to go on there. I'm sure I have one in storage somewhere, but that stuff, those boxes have not been unpacked yet. Um, yeah, I like all the candles. This one I picked up, this candle holder I picked up also from, oh dear, from the Goodwill. 
and it was black so I spray painted it cream color and it stands out a lot more I ended up getting a little bit more greenery from this for this arrangement this was like a small arrangement that I got at an antique store and then I added some more greenery to that which kind of made it give it a little height and anyway the other candles are what you see tell me what you think about this home sweet home I like it a lot I'm a little bit uncertain if it if the frame is just a little too bright because the home sweet home doesn't pop out quite as much but overall this mantle is way better you can actually see the things on it and they don't disappear so that was my goal and let me back up a little bit in a little bit Adam got that window trimmed out so now it is ready for curtains and to finish putting those tools away a little bit by a little bit this is coming together and it you don't know what it's like to just have little bits and pieces of your life falling into place it just makes things seem a lot more settled and it makes it definitely seem like home sweet home here is the final update from this video I did find a cute really cute lacy daisy scarf and I decided to use that as my instead of a crochet thing and that was a few dollars thrifted and I did find these other flowers the tall flowers that go behind the home sweet home that help to elevate it and I found this cute little chicky that I really liked let's see he's just a ceramic little chicky and I thought he looked cute up there so that's where he's gonna stay and so I think having that um, lacy scarf really helped to pull it all together at least I like it and I, we're always working around that chimney but that's okay it's still pretty mission accomplished